All right, so you're uh, Chase Hooper's opponent. You find yourself here with a minute left in the match, um, the fight rather. And there's actually, at this point in time, there's actually a lot of things he could have done, right? Uh, it got progressively worse until him tapping in the waning seconds was really the only solution. But we'll talk about along the way where he continually sort of gave himself less options, right? From here, the grip that Taylor has is really efficient at potentially slowing me, escaping my leg. It does not do much to prevent me from turning my knee, right? At this point also, right, his opponent would have been free to pommel a foot inside, to wedge and create opportunities to escape his knee, okay? But he didn't do those things. His opponent stayed sitting on his butt and relied on the hand fight. By leaning forward to hand fight, which wasn't even necessary at this point, he actually put his weight over his hip and therefore kept his knee sort of in range, okay? At one point he was reaching through and now because of how long Hooper's legs are, right, he triangled them and now his opponent actually has his arm trapped next to his knee. So now when he goes to escape, right, he's actually taken some of the space out for some of the other escapes that he could have used, right, to prevent um, further danger, right? So he stays in here, he's still fighting, okay? At this point, it's gonna be really hard to pommel a foot back inside to wedge, okay? Um, and then from here, Cooper did the right thing. He actually dragged this leg across, right? He drags it across, right? Even though his opponent clears the arm, his opponent is still trying to hand fight, right? Particularly here in a number of other positions, from here, my hands reaching forward like this are never going to be stronger than Taylor using his hips, his knees, his back, his lat, and the rotation of his body, right? The only choice he really had from here would have been to accept that maybe I'm going to give up getting my foot broken, right? He could have thumb posted, popped up, and really sort of tried to get Hooper to go for the toe hold and hope that maybe he gets his foot broken as the time runs out, but he doesn't give up a pretty serious knee injury, okay?